Hey everybody, welcome back. And continuing where we left off in our last lesson, we went ahead and actually sculpted the detail here for our nose, or the basics uh, of our nose here. Okay, but now what we're ready to go ahead and do here is we need to add the horns here for our rhino. Okay, and to do that we can do it a couple different ways. You can obviously do it um, inside of ZBrush using a polysphere and then just manipulate that mesh. But what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to send this over to Maya. And to do that, I'll just come up here to my tool menu. I'll hit Go Z. And this will launch Maya for us. And this will just take a second or two to load here. And let me go ahead and just move my output window off the screen there. And this will just take a second to go ahead and bring up. And you can see here that I'm still using Maya 2011 um, as my Gozi application. That's fine. Uh, you guys can follow along using Maya 2014, uh, 2012, whatever. Doesn't really matter. And I just need to make sure that I scale Maya here correctly. Okay, so there you can see where our Rhino comes in. Okay, let me go ahead and hit 5 on my keyboard so we get the shaded view here. But you can see here where the rhino comes in and it's still this sort of um, faceted around the lips, uh, also around the nose. Um, go ahead and just change the shader there real quick so we get that standard Lambert. But you can see here where the, um, the model is sort of tessellated. It's not necessarily smooth. And I don't want to actually add a horn to a, a model here that that's looking like this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just select the model, hit three on my keyboard, so I get that smooth mesh preview. Come up here to modify, convert smooth mesh preview to polygons. This way we get a smooth model. I'm going to go ahead and add that to its own layer. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead here and bring in um, an image. And to do this, I'm just simply going to use a um, tool here, a personal tool. So we'll go ahead and just bring in a side image. And we'll just be using that side image that we've been using inside of uh, ZBrush. So there you can see the side image comes in. And if you really want to just bring in the side image, all you really got to do is come in here to view, image plane, import image, and that same image is going to come in here. But um, my script just basically sets the image um, back far enough in <coughs> the X direction here for the side view okay so let's go ahead here and model um, our horns we're really only going to be modeling one of these um, because we'll just simply duplicate the other one over okay to create this what we can go ahead and do here is use any one of these uh, polygon primitives really um, the sphere the cube uh, the cylinder or the cone um, so, I mean, it's really up to you in, in terms of how you want to go ahead and model this, uh, which primitive you would want to use. Um, personally, I'm just going to go ahead and s just select the sphere. I'll go ahead and drag the sphere out here. And I'll adjust the subdivision, the axis, and height here to 8. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees in the Z axis here. So, go ahead and rotate that 90 degrees. And I'll go ahead and rotate it here as well. Uh, go ahead and scale this down. Okay. And I'll just select some vertices here. Grab my lasso tool. And I'll go ahead and pull this up. Okay. And if you wanted to, you can always select your model. Uh, come up here to modify, center pivot, freeze the transformations, and delete the history straight on it. But. Um, since I don't actually have to go ahead and do all three of those, I can just simply run one little script, which is three basic lines of code. And those three basic lines of code are the center pivot, delete history, and freeze transformations commands. So you can just simply copy and paste those into a shelf button if you wanted to. So we'll select these vertices. And we will just try and get these into shape here. Okay. Select this edge, go ahead and pull this down, go ahead and scale it, just try to get this into the proper place, go ahead and grab these ones as well, 
know, we can pull that up if we wanted to. Okay. Go ahead and grab these vertices as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and try and place these uh, basically where I would want them. Okay. Because we can always manipulate this shape inside of ZBrush uh, if we wanted to. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and rotate this a little bit. And there you can see where we have the uh, basics of our horn here. And we'll just maybe pull this one down a little bit. Okay, jump into our perspective view. So there you can see where we have the basics of our horn. But obviously this is way too large for our rhino head here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just simply scale this down a little bit and try and place this on our model. Okay, so eh, maybe that's going to be a little bit too large here. Uh, I should probably scale it down just a little bit more. And I'll go ahead and try and get that into a position that I'm going to be happy with. Okay. So I think that's going to be um, fine there. And you'll notice that I'm also, what I'm going to go ahead and do here, make sure that we have three selected on our keyboard. I'm also going to come over here to modify, convert, smooth mesh preview to polygons. But you can see where this is going to be um, a somewhat heavy duty in terms of the polygon count. So I'll just turn the subdivisions here of that poly smooth face back to one. So there you can see where it's not necessarily that high. Go ahead and select it, freeze the transformation center of the pivot and clear the history there. Go ahead and hit control D to duplicate that. Just simply rotate this a little bit. I'm gonna hit insert to move my pivot point and I'll just simply scale this down a little bit. So there you can see where we have both horns created for a model and let's go ahead here and freeze the transformation center of the pivot and clear the history off both of those we'll just select one by itself we'll go ahead and just export this to the desktop and we'll call this the horn one and we'll hit G to repeat that command calling that horn two okay go ahead and jump into ZBrush here make sure that we go up to our uh, highest subdivision level Go to our tool menu, sub tool. We'll come in here and append two polyspheres. Okay, selecting the first one, we'll go ahead and import horn one. So there you can see where our horn comes in. Selecting the second one, we'll go ahead and horn two. Jump up a couple subdivision levels on that one as well. Okay, we'll select our horn one here. And let's go ahead and you can already see where we definitely do need to adjust this um, at least a little bit here. Uh, and to do that, we'll start working on that in our next lesson since we've um, gone ahead and modeled those. So uh, at this point, what I'm going to go ahead and do before we do really anything else is just make sure that I save this in our Touch Plus folder here. Oops, wrong folder there. And we'll call this Rhino 5. Okay. So in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back. And we'll start playing with the shape here of our Rhino horn. So come on back, everybody.